Two oranges. Ah. <laughs> the Do you also want a chocolate muffin? The pizza. No pop. Over you roll and let me see. I'm just full of health. Good morning. I thought I got the anti-glare glasses. Turns out I didn't. Or they ripped me off and I'm gonna go with that one. Before we get our day started, we're having a little bit of brunch. I hate this angle. Ugh. I came across this girl on TikTok who eats so many hard boiled eggs so many different ways. So we're gonna try. First was mustard and egg. God, hearing you chew that makes me wanna die. Feel free, but do it quietly. That's good. Okay, next I haven't seen her do this, but this is what I had in the fridge and it looks good. Really hot. I shouldn't have taken a whole bite. I thought they were banana peppers. I'm just gonna leave. Mmm. <laughs> Mustard is definitely my favorite. Oh my gosh, you guys, my mouth is on fire. We're going to get Avery and run some errands. Need a few essentials. And then Home Depot really quick. I think Levi would like the blue one. I think Laura likes pink, so let's get her pink. Mom needs this. So I just restocked my car with all of my mom essentials, safety essentials, first aid kits, and all of that. And I added something new that I wanted to share with you guys. It is this sleeping bag that you can use for emergencies or just on everyday basis like camping. But because of the size, lightweightness, and its ability to withstand wind and temperatures, I decided to use it for an emergency kit in the back of my car. This is what the bag looks like. It's seriously so lightweight. And then you open it, and in there is the sleeping bag. I just keep mine right here in the back of my car in my little everything kit. It's so compact and easy to keep in your car without getting in the way. And no matter what season of life you're in, whether you have kids, don't have kids, whether you're traveling or not, that is such a good thing and a comforting thing for me personally to just have in the trunk. This amazing sleeping bag is ultra tough, tear and puncture resistant. It traps and reflects over 90% of body heat. It's fast and simple to pack and reuse and it weighs less than a Zippo lighter. I've worked with a lot of brands over the years and I have to say there is so much cooler inventions coming out and this is definitely a new must have in my life that I will not be driving a car without. I always wonder like what's gonna be next and then things like that happen and I'm like, now what makes this sleeping bag and everything so much better is I'm actually teaming up with Modern Needs to do a giveaway. This giveaway includes not only this amazing sleeping bag, but also a Jeep Gladiator. I'm also gonna leave a link down below for you guys to get 50% off of this sleeping bag. Now I can't believe I'm already saying this, but this would make for a great holiday gift. What, how is it already the holidays? I don't understand, it's so crazy. Anyways, I'm gonna have the link down below for you guys to check it out, get more information, and get that 50% off. Now anyways, back to the vlog. Now my favorite part, picking up the other kids. Yes. One time I was playing football with the one of the best players in our school was going against me, and I died for the ball and caught it. What? We're hanging out outside. <laughs> We're hanging out outside because it's about to be really cold and you know, we want to enjoy the outside weather. I am kind, I am beautiful, I am nice, I make lots of friends. While well, kids are playing in the backyard using their creativity and not fighting hopefully. Besides Dora, you can hear her stomping around in here. She has attachment issues. I don't know if you guys remember, but when we bought this house and moved in, pretty much the only thing that made me absolutely crazy is this kitchen floor. But I didn't want to do anything about it because I'm like, you know what? We're gonna tear down the freaking thing in a couple years. Anyways, I don't want to like invest a bunch of money into it. But I've had enough. I can't stand it. I think it's so ugly. It's not functional. You can see all the dirt. It was also starting to lift in places like here and then every time I would vacuum, it would like pull it. So I've been convinced and we're redoing the floors. Me meaning my dad and fiance. I'm playing supervisor. I'll provide the drinks. Do you need some espresso? Oh, that piece right there, grab that little, no, no, no. Hey, Hi, Hi. Hi. 
So you can see this is like the color or kind that we went with. While the Kadi, I'll explain to you guys, I don't totally love this type of flooring. Like I don't love the coloring of it in this house, but there's really not any good options that kind of match everything because this house obviously being old and some of it being remodeled, some of it not. It just has a lot going on. So basically we chose like a floor that looked good in the kitchen where the floor is and not like blended necessarily well as a whole. Cause it is very pretty. Like I like that it's light and it has little bits of gray and black in it. Genius, I'm a genius. Yes. Just dropped off Avery at Tumbling. Have to run home, take Alea to dance, and then go to Levi's Parent and Teacher Conference, and then pick up Avery and Alea, and then go to Alea's Parent Teacher Conference. Wow! But anyways, this is just the time of day where I just like crash. You know, Ugh. I can't stand it. But the show must go on. Let's go see the progress they've made. Looks real fun in here. <laughs> really quickly, I'm gonna try to squeeze in making tacos so that we have a dinner tonight. Do I record you now? Sure, you can record whatever you want. Do you want to record them? You want to show them what they're doing? I'll show you the fit. Oh my gosh, you can see the coloring so much better because it's not so bright outside, like you can't see the light coming in. It's giving um, 10 out of 10, if you ask me. But now all of the kids except one are in bed. Aura actually took a nap earlier while I was running around. My dad was doing the flooring and watched her while fiance and I went to all the parent teacher conferences and stuff. So obviously it's gonna be a while before she falls asleep, but I have to show you guys this because they're almost done, which I can't even believe this has like happened in less than a full day. I wanna show you guys in the day with better lighting but look at this it looks so much better again the color is not my favorite for this house but it looks so much better than this like yellow stuff they haven't finished over here yet but you can see the hardest part honestly about the old flooring was that it had this yellow color and I can't tell you how many people actually walked into this house and was like oh I think something's on your floor oh what happened oh, the... and I'm like no it's actually a mop floor and it just looks like that you can kind of see right here like this is just stained this is not dirty so anyways I'm just we would do all the hardwood in this color, but that would be silly because again, we're gonna tear it down. So like, on another hand, Beyonce got a bunch of packages, so I figure why not be the kindest Beyonce and open them for him. Yeah, I have one. Oh, I know what this is. Do you remember? Yeah. Beyonce bought the kids their birthday or Christmas. How cute is this? Oh, it's wrapping paper. Are you serious? <laughs> but it's so cute. Aura has birthday in November, Levi has one this month in October. So Fiance's been mopping the floor with like our Swiffer. We actually usually use a steamer, but occasionally he uses the Swiffer. And he's been using the same pad forever. And I'm like, can you get a new pad? Like it looks so dirty. And he couldn't because we didn't have any, so. <laughs> okay, last box. This one looks like fun shape. Oh my. Oh, it's an actual roll this time. See, that's what I. Guys, I've had this um, wrapping paper, or at least a similar one, if not this one, saved in my save for later. Fiance. That's a great video idea. You spend 500 